In this video, we will take a look at the K8200 electronics and the mods that I've made, and we'll discuss why with a few tips and tricks as well. So here is the OG board. And this is the MKS Gen L controller board. This will replace the K8200 original control board. Okay, what we have here is the K8200's original uh, control board, uh, less the stepper drivers, as you can see here. This is what was in service on my machine up until, oh, let's say, about four years ago. While this, this board itself, um, as delivered, is very capable, I found some limitations in what I wanted to achieve with my machine. Moving forward, you can see that there's a hardwired USB cable from some cheap shielded device. Well, I think it was an extension cable and I just cut the end off and hardwired it in with some hot snot along here just to act as a bit of strain relief. But overall, this board is on its second uh, IC here, microcontroller, because I, I did um, ESD shock, the original one. Uh, but overall, I found limitations when I wanted to upgrade and mod the board, uh, mod the printer and just add extra functionality. I wanted a, uh, a bigger LCD. I wanted more inputs and more outputs. I mean, from a core function, this, this does the job well. The fact that you have socketed uh, stepper drivers, at least on the version that I had that was um, 2013, 2014 vintage, made for uh, easy swapping out of the drivers when you inevitably blow them up. Now, when I say blow them up, not in the obvious sense letting the uh, magic smoke out. More like the invisible magic smoke. Quick tip, and one of the most important tips when um, with any 3D printer, not just, not just the K8200, never be tempted to unplug and plug in the stepper motors while the unit is powered up. That's, that normally ends up in a, a fatal um, death, or fatal death, fatal means death, you're not coming back from it, means death of the stepper driver for that particular motor. Reason being is if, if the motor is powered up and it's under, uh, I guess, holding torque, even if the motor's stationary, there is an element of uh, power being supplied to that motor to keep it in its position. Because the motor has a series of coils, electrical coils within it, the very act of unplugging it while it's under power will cause a back EMF charge and arcing to the connector. And if that happens, you normally instantly destroy the output stage of the IC, the driver IC on your little stepper driver here. And that's not recoverable. Once that output stage is, is um, destroyed, that's the end. Time for a new, um, new stepper driver. Luckily, they're fairly ubiquitous. You can buy aftermarket uh, drivers. This particular unit, I think, ships with the A4988. Uh, I think it's Allegro is the IC manufacturer. Um, and it is, it, it, they are fairly cheap and you can get mixed bag in as far as quality is concerned. But that is a main consideration when you are fiddling around with your machine, tinkering with it. Always, always shut all the power bricks down. Now, when the machine does ship, or at least when mine did, it comes with this power brick. Let's see if I can show you that. And you might notice there's a light on it, an LED, that uh, even though you may unplug your power supply from the wall, you will find residual power will keep this LED live, which technically is still supplying power to your unit, to your 3D printed control board. And during that moment, it takes a, a good 30 seconds through to a few minutes, depending on the characteristics of your particular uh, power supply, that this board remains energized. 
and if it does remain energized and then you hastily continue to unplug the uh, stepper driver wires or cable for whatever reason, changing the motor, rerouting the cable, whatever, even in that moment, you will still have enough energy stored within the uh, power supply to still create that um, arcing and back EMF issue and you'll still pop your um, stepper driver. And it won't be obvious. You won't have a definitive uh, shit stain on the chip. You won't have blown traces. You won't have anything. You won't know. It just will, 95% of the time, kill your driver. Can't stress that enough. You have to be careful while the unit's powered. And that even extends to don't unplug your drivers while uh, you're powered up because that's the same as unplugging the stepper motor directly from your JST connector here. Same thing will happen. So now I've placed the new board that I currently run. Mind you, my machine's completely stripped down at the moment because I'm in the middle of um, doing some further mods, mainly tidying up the machine and how it presents because um, I've been running it with control boards hanging out out the side, wires everywhere. And um, I think I've tested it enough now to start developing and housing the components of the 3D printer. So as you can see, this is the, uh, it's a fairly old board. It's a few, old, few years old now. It still runs the Atmel uh, microprocessor, but it's more utilized for its inputs and outputs. You can see this unit still has the socketable uh, stepper drivers. I believe I'm currently running the, I want to say DRV8825. It's just another version of the same stepper driver, still just as vulnerable from what I described earlier about unplugging and uh, plugging in your stepper drivers or steppers whilst powered up. I have had a, a little bit of playing around with another type of stepper driver, which is the Trinamic. Uh, stepper drivers. Absolutely gorgeous um, outputs and silent uh, machine operation and all that, all those benefits. But uh, for the price, and in my case, noise isn't really a consideration, unless of course I'm shooting a video. I don't tend to shoot videos of my 3D printing adventures. Uh, I do shoot videos of what I've achieved with 3D printing, um, and I have plans to do that in the future as well. This unit is pretty much got the same attributes we've got uh, the power in the heated bed output another two heater outputs for whatever reason you've got a heater for the nozzle you've got a heater um, a preheater i guess if you're using a um, enclosure you can use a preheated enclosure that's when you're getting into the nitty-gritty of uh, abs which likes to curl up uh, you've got limit switches uh, plus and minus for each of the the a uh, sorry the z x and y axis the plus and minus limit switches. Two ports here for an LC, external LCD, uh, just as the KD200 OG board has. Uh, it's got another stepper option, a stepper driver option in case you're using uh, twin uh, twin Z motors. If you get a raising bed, um, similar to Mytronic's Y unit, which the bed moves up and down, not the nozzle. Sent your thermistor inputs, your bed th uh, thermistor, uh, temperature sensor, your nozzle temperature sensor and whatnot. Still got the uh, USB input, normal type A, uh, sorry, type B connector. Uh, MOSFETs for most of the high power switching element, uh, switching outputs. So yeah, basically the same sort of deal, but a lot more functionality, a lot more features, and a, and a lot more, um, I guess, modability in that sense. So I'm probably not alone when I say wiring is an absolute pain in the ass. So let's get this over with. The 3D printing market is flooded with options at the moment and there are many variations to choose from. If you want to keep it simple as possible, stay with the controllers that have the 8-bit microcontrollers on them. They will be perfectly capable for home 3D printing while you learn about how the firmware works. I just want to give a big thank you to all my new and current subscribers. My goal is to reach a thousand subs or more by mid-2021. It's looking good so far. So if you like my content, you know what to do. You might have guessed my channel is a bit of a mixed bag of content, but then so is my hobby. A bit of tech review, component level repairs, CNC machining, fabrication, and more with a little retro computing and nostalgia sprinkled throughout. If you like my content, please consider subscribing, throw me a comment and smash that like button. Also, if you have something unpopular to say, feel free to scribe that in the comment section too. That's always nice. Head down to the description for other ways to support the channel and hit that PayPal link if you want to shout me a coffee or three. Thanks for watching.